Hey folks, thanks for joining me once again for yet another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. And yes, the world of beer is truly wonderful, even in these dark times. Anyway, today we're going to be taking a look at the Milton Mango itself, the pride of Queensland, Forex Gold, which comes in at 3.5% alcohol by volume, and it's brewed and canned at the Castle Main Perkins Brewery in Milton, Queensland. Now, uh, these days, uh, Forex, the Castle Main Perkins Brewery, is uh, owned by uh, Lion, who uh, are a subsidiary of uh, Kieran, who uh, are also a subsidiary of uh, Mitsubishi. All right, so it goes all the way up to uh, Mitsubishi uh, of Japan. Anyhow, um, this was once the most popular beer in Australia for a brief while uh, until uh, Victoria Bitter, owned by Carlton United Breweries, claw clawed its way back. Interestingly, uh, Carlton United Breweries is owned by Asahi. So pretty much the market uh, here in Australia is, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, dominated by uh, Kieran and Asahi, two uh, brewing giants from Japan. Anyway, so we're just uh, pouring this one out. It's been nicely chilled in the Swillingrog beer fridge. I was actually just given this beer when I went uh, to the barber um, the other day. There's this uh, strange uh, law in uh, Queensland that uh, permits a barber shop to, uh, you know, give you a drink for free. Uh, you know, when you have a haircut, um, interestingly enough. So, we've uh, poured that uh, can of Forex Gold out and uh, let's have a look at the appearance. Uh, yeah, it's a clear golden colour, quite uh, effervescent. Uh, about a finger there, a bright white frothy looking head. Okay, onto the uh, aroma. Okay, um, you know, smelling some uh, sweet grains there. Hmm. A very typical uh, Australian beer aroma, actually. Mm. So, we've uh, talked about the appearance and uh, we've talked about uh, the aroma. So, uh, it's time for the taste test. Cheers to you all. Let's dive in for uh, 2021. Hmm. Alright, well, um, up front, you know, I'm getting those sweet grains. You know, it finishes crisp and clean. No real bitterness to speak of with uh, this one. Hmm. Yeah, no real uh, off flavours, nothing offensive about it. Uh, you know, it's obviously one that's quite drinkable. Hmm. It's definitely holding that uh, taste profile. And of course, at 3.5% ABV, which equates to uh, one standard drink, um, you know, it's certainly something that you could uh, session. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, for a lot of people uh, in Queensland, uh, this is, you know, <laughs> to them, what beer is like. You know, you could survey one or two people here, and yeah, I'm sure that this is the their beer of choice. Um, extremely uh, popular here, and uh, price-wise. Um, it's very competitively priced. I think at uh, Dan Murphy's you get a 30 block for $45.90. I know that to a lot of you overseas that would seem quite expensive, but you know that's the you know that's due to the taxation of uh, alcohol and, and beer, you know, in um, Australia. But you know it's it's a good price, and a lot of um, major liquor stores um, when they sell this, it's uh, it's a loss leader for them. Um, so they, you know, they could sell like, well, when I was working at a liquor store, I sold like half a pallet to a fella. And, um, yeah, I mean, the store really makes nothing, you know, that's, that's actually a loss, like, for them. But, you know, it draws people in, um, and, you know, people, you know, nearly buy it by the pallet load uh, here. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, extremely popular, uh, and that, that's an understatement. I mean, uh, you go to any, uh, you know, hotel here and there's Forex gold signs just plastered uh, all over it. Interestingly, it's not actually the first Castlemaine Perkins uh, beer to bear the name gold. I'll flash up an image uh, that I found uh, on the internet, uh, actually, of a um, 
brew from some years ago uh, that was also called Gold, but uh, interestingly, I think it was like 5.7% uh, ABV. Mm. Long before, you know, all these breweries started dropping the ABV of beers. Mm. Anyway, um, yeah, it's interesting trying this again uh, in uh, 2021. It's not a beer that I drink uh, regularly. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's lacing that glass quite nicely. Yeah, I think this is a glass that uh, Jez gave me uh, many years ago. Anyway, so um, yeah, let's have one final gulp of this and uh, yeah, give it a score for uh, 2021. Ooh. Right, yeah, well, all in all, it's not terrible. Um, you know, the amount of flavour you get in it for a beer that's 3.5% ABV, you know, is, is commendable. But, look, there are much better options um, as far as uh, Australian beers go, I'm afraid to say. Um, you know, two is new, for uh, instance, is way better than this and has a lot more flavour and, you know, it has a higher ABV <laughs> as well. Um, hmm... Perhaps it's just a little bit better in the can too, actually. Um, you know, given I'm sampling it in the uh, can uh, today in uh, 2018, I had it from a, a Tawley, uh, I believe. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll have uh, my uh, final. Um, well, actually, <laughs> what am I saying? I had my final gulp. Here I am, just yeah, babbling a bit about it. Um, but yeah, let's have yet another final gulp. Mm, it's to help me make up my mind. Um, hmm. Yeah, for 2021, I'd probably give Forex Gold a uh, 6.5 out of 10. So uh, there you go, folks. A uh, 6.5 out of 10 for uh, Forex Gold. Um, yeah. All right. So uh, on a completely separate note, um, I'm doing something a little bit different uh, with my channel uh, at the moment, um, if you have a look at the about page, you'll see that uh, I've included a mailing address where you can feel free to send me beer. Uh, I've approached a lot of breweries too, um, you know, to get samples from, uh, you know, the uh, wonderful world of beer out there. But uh, had no positive uh, responses yet after contacting about uh, around about 30 or so of them. So. Uh, It'll be interesting though to see the uh, outcome of that, but uh, you know, if there's a beer that you'd like to see reviewed uh, on this show, then um, yeah, feel free to send me uh, that beer. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to kick back and drink down the rest of this, and I'll see you all in the next review, but uh, until then, fare thee well, all.